This is the Gen 2 Prusa Core 1 kit. With the Gen 2 system spanning over 6 years now and over 100,000 downloads, the system has been utilized under and on top of many desks, tables, and workbenches. But this is the first time it's ever been utilized on where it started, a 3D printer. And what better printer to do that with than the Prusa Core 1? To start this project, you need to print two rails, two brackets, and four feet. Next, place something soft like a towel or a blanket down on a table, and we're gonna lean the printer onto its back right on top of it. We want to do this to be careful not to crush the Wi-Fi antenna on the back. Next, we're just going to tear the old feet right off. If you haven't installed feet yet, you can skip over this step. The old adhesive stays behind, so we're going to add new double-sided tape onto the feet. You can also glue them on if you really want to. You do you. And then just press them in place under the feet. Next we'll prepare the brackets. We'll install M3 nuts into each of them. On the front bracket we'll install three M3 nuts and we'll pull them in place using an M3 screw. On the rear bracket, we'll install five M3 nuts. You'll want to use a longer M3 screw to pull the M3 nuts in place. And on the ends, you'll want to use the openings for placing the M3 nuts. And with all five M3 nuts installed, we're ready to proceed on to installation. We'll start installation with the brackets. Install the rear bracket using M3 by 10 screws and make sure the arrow on the bracket is pointing towards the front of the printer during installation. These will thread into the M3 threaded holes on the bottom of the Core 1 base plate. They'll be the second holes down from the top while the printer's in this position. Make sure both screws are good and tight and that the bracket is firmly on the printer. Next, we'll install the front bracket. This one we also want to make sure the arrow is facing the front of the printer. The shape of the bracket allows you to slide it in between the two nylon rivets. Next, we'll install the single width 240 rail. Let's lock the rail in place using an M3 by 12 screw. It is very important to not use a longer screw as there is a PCB behind this, a few millimeters, and we don't want to come in contact with that. The rest of the screws can be M3 by 12s or a little longer, and we're not going to fully tighten them until we have all the screws in place. Next, we'll install the 240 double width rail using the same M3 by 12 screws like we did on the last. After installing every screw, just go back through and tighten all of them. Next, we'll install the feet for the Persicore 1. If there's tape residue on your printer, just peel that away to get access to the screws. Remove only one screw at a time using a Torx screwdriver. Next, we'll install the foot by using two M3 by 14 screws. There's three slots in the foot, but it will align with two of the M3 holes. You don't actually have to use the feet in this kit if there's other ones online that you want to use. They should still be compatible with this. You just want to make sure there's enough room for the rails to fit. Repeat installation for the three remaining feet. Okay. 
carefully stand the printer upright on top of the new Gen 2 kit. And finally, we'll install the drawers. Slide the drawer case in place, lining up the rails. I'm using a 240 by 2W by one high drawer on the left. And on the right, I'm using a 240 by 1W by one high drawer. You can rearrange this any way you want. If you want to put slim drawers on top of each other, or if you want to use shorter drawers, you can install them using the bi-directional quick lock. Next, we'll install the face plates. My current favorite one to use is the edge label face plate. It has tons of modularity built into it, allowing you to snap labels in place, as well as an accent piece that you can print face down on a bill plate. If you use a variation of face plates where the handle is towards the bottom, you can just move the printer towards the front of the surface and it will make it easier to access. And that's how you assemble the Gen 2 Core 1 kit. Back in 2019, I designed a little black drawer that mounted under a table that my Prusa Mark II sat on. A few weeks later, I shared that file online. I never imagined what that little drawer would turn into. After six long years, I think it more than deserves a new home under a Prusa. If you enjoy projects like this and you'd like to support the Gen 2 system, consider purchasing a model, or if you'd like to join the club and get access to premium faceplates and early access to new designs, um, you can do that too. I'll put that in the description as well. Visit Girari3D.com for the full catalog of all parts and uh, it'll make it easy to find where you can download them from. Also, be sure to check out the new Gen 2 system subreddit, which is a growing community around the project. And a special thank you to the supporters. Your support makes projects like this possible. So thank you.